Hi, this is my Emulating Emily Dickinson project by Jack Scott. I chose to do the poem, The Props Assist the House. It is a one stanza, 12 line poem with a couple of lines in the poem actually rhyming. The props assist the house until the house is built, and then the props withdraw, inadequate, erect. The house support itself and cease to recollect. The auger and the carpenter, just such a retrospect, hath the perfected life a past of plank and nail and slowness. Then the scaffolds drop, affirming it a soul. I wrote a poem that was a little bit similar to the one that she had wrote. Mine was obviously mine is about a hockey rink and a daily game that would happen that and a game that happened for me. It is also a one stanza twelve line poem. It is called the game. The props assist the house. In the house, the ice had been waiting. Huge gusts of bone-chilling air smack me in the face. I have arrived. The rest of my team arrives exactly on time. Everyone antsy and anxious, ready to play. Everyone is playing in their prime. The puck drops and the game begins. I get a penalty and it is treated like a crime. Five minutes left and we are down by one. I come out of the box and get a pass. I go in on the goalie and make a move. I shoot and score, and the game is over. Here are some. This is the key of the annotations I make on the Beck's two poems. So, on the props that assist the house, I think, well, in yellow, um, in yellow you can see that it is the figures of speech. And I think that assist, obviously, it means to give support or aid to. And so I think that they're talking about when they say the props that assist the house, I think she means that there are human-like characteristics that are actually building up the house, not just like walls and bricks and cement to help build up the house. I think there are actually living things that are help building up the house. And then when she says, because when she says until the house is built and then the props withdraw, I think she means once the house is built and then say the people leave, the house becomes a little bit less ideal as that she wanted to. And when she says, but the props withdraw, it's also personification because props obviously can't withdraw themselves unless they're humans, which they are not. When she says, and then when it says, and cease to recollect the auger and the carpenter, just such a retrospect. I think when she's saying here is that the people that are living there are not they're not trying to leave until their life is over like they are they are continuing on throughout their life and then once they leave the house becomes a little bit less perfect because when she says hath the perfected life a past of plank and nail and slowness then the scaffolds drop affirming in a soul I think she means when the people leave the house starts to die and it starts to willow away just like the people do once they leave the house because that was like their home um, when it says perfected that means conforming absolutely to the description or definition of an ideal type. So she's meaning the perfect in life that that house was like the ideal home for them. That was like the perfect place for them to live. And now it's all gone because once the people leave, that breaks down the house. And so in my poem, I tried to make it a little bit along the same lines of that one. So when I, my house in this is obviously a hockey rink for me. Um, when it's I put the ice had been waiting, that was personification because obviously I that's giving human like characteristics to the ice because the ice can't be waiting, it just stand it's just sitting there, it never moves. And then when I put in the next line, huge gusts of bone chilling air smack me in the face. I have arrived. That for me was like saying the kids, the people there are born. And then when they're born, the house becomes more powerful and the house builds itself up, and that's how the house is built. And then the rest of my team arrives exactly on time. Other family members are starting to arrive at the house and being born. And the family, as the family becomes bigger and bigger, the house becomes stronger and stronger. And then when I put, I get a penalty and it is treated like a crime. I think when that is like a crime, it's a simile for when people are starting to leave or they're going to college or they're moving out of the house. The how that is being like tearing tearing down the house, and you're breaking apart the family as well as breaking apart the house. So it's treated like a crime because you were tearing down something that is perfect, and that is not exactly ideal for that house. 
And when I put, I come out of the box and get a pass, I go in on the goalie and make a move, I shoot and score, and the game is over. That is saying, like, you return for, like, a vacation or whatever, or you're coming back from college and you're starting to live there again. That's, like, building the house up, and that's making the house back to its original place. So, yeah, that's my uh, Emily, Emily Dickinson project. Thanks.